Look, man, I don't know about y'all, but uh, maybe this ain't superpowers. Maybe it is, because apparently a lot of folks can't do what I does, right? And... Somebody come in. It's from the roadway. But yeah, like I was saying, somebody listening to me right now. Somebody who's been doing this for a long time, who's been knowing about this for a long time. See, there are those who know, and then there's those who have been taught. Now, I knew something was different about me at a young age. I knew, I knew it. And I knew for a fact that I had abilities, but I just, you know, I just thought it was just me tripping because from what people were telling me and what TV, you know, there's a lot of nonsense. That's all in the road. Somebody getting closer though. Well, yeah, so discovering all this stuff, finding out, man, it's a trip, bro. Hey, it's a trip, bro. And like, you can do amazing things, man. This is why they uh, harass and hate. Oh, that's the sun, that's the tune. Man, my eye look cool. Yeah, that's why they hate and do what they do, man. Somebody buy a car. Hold on, let me fix it. Yeah, it's an 18 year let me see. Um, it's a dude, of course. Going for right. There's many angles and ways of doing things and seeing the matrix and seeing the grid and, and be able to see these people. It's a, it's it's many different codes, many different ways you can see everybody. It's about connections and all that stuff. A lot of stuff. Do it all. Like somebody upside down right now is listening to me, so I'm gonna say it's from the left side. Somebody listening in right now. Women's side. All right, so let me go ahead and break this down. This is how people, for, for all y'all who be in fear, be like, who's doing it? Who's watching this? Blah, 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 blah. All that, right? They're using mathematics first, foremost. It's an algorithm. If you've seen, um, what, Faz, Furious 9? Is it Furious 9? Wherever they're using the, the eye of God, Eagle Eye, any of these movies, they're using an algorithm that was taught to them or they, they took and discovered from ancient ancestors, right? From old folks. So this algorithm, this program, this uh, analogy, excuse me, not analogy, but this uh, algorithm and process is not hard to do. It's, it's, it's a lot of numbers, all right? It's number codes. Like, if y'all, yeah, this is why y'all gotta go watch these old movies, like paying attention to like, decoding and stuff like that like Da Vinci Code it's a system they're using systems to play God they're using and then they're using your ignorance I'm gonna say your or your stupidity because you not knowing is basically ignorance as well but you not knowing they're able to put a veil over you and string you along manipulation they can use certain triggers and wording and certain things and use certain mythologies and thoughts to keep you from reaching a higher state. Like your, the, the, the highest form you can reach, they're putting stagnants in walls. Like I said before, it's like in the Dark Phoenix uh, and X-Men, how Xavier put blockers in front of Jean Grey to keep her from reaching the highest plateau. So by doing that, they'll put religion, they, they put weights on you. They're putting weights to weigh you down. 
It's like in Rick and Morty when Jerry was floating, because uh, Rick, who's supposed to be a god, he gave him shoes that would make him float. Uh, was it shoes or was it? No, no. He gave him, uh, it was a chemical, and it made him float. And then Jerry realizing he was floating, he was floating out of control, he had to go get a rock to weigh himself down and keep him grounded. Vice versa. They want you to be grounded. They want us shackled down. Rick knew that he wouldn't like being all in the sky floating around just doing whatever. So he reversed and hit him with some nonsense. He knew that he would not like it after a while. But Jerry being determined is like, hey, I'm still doing what I got to do and still enjoy myself. Y'all can't beat me. Made it happen anyway. He had to go through a whole journey and process why Morty, who was chosen by God, which is the granddad, he chose the, the grandson instead of the, the husband, went on an adventure. Even though he was tormenting this kid too, he still gives him fun and he shows him things and teaches him a whole bunch of stuff. Jerry is out there going through the process and he's steady growing. He's learned, he's learned all this stuff without being on the inside. This is how they treat you from either yo. It's, it's in every system, every level, every tier. From your family down to your, uh, down to the insects, down to the government, every, every type of level on this plane of existence. Because it's different dimensions. There's people that are going to withhold information and things from you because they feel like you're not their chosen one. So seeing as you're not the chosen one, they're going to keep you shackled. And if you are the chosen one, you got to go through trials and tribulations and a whole bunch of things to reach that certain plateau to shine even brighter. Now, there's different reasons on why these certain gods who have a godhead above you because you're underneath, everybody starts out underneath a godhead. So you have to keep growing and succeeding to get past that godhead. You haven't passed that boss, you're still under their control. If you're not pushing forward, exceeding higher than the beings that have shackled you through different means, you are not free. Because you're still under the burdens of all that God had that it put upon you, you're still shackled down to that. Everything they said, they, they still have you tied and weighed down to it. So if you haven't succeeded in the past that, you're not doing nothing. And then you, it's, it's psychological, mental, I mean, it's spiritual, it's all that. It's, 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 it's all intertwined. It's, they try to make it seem like it's so different, but it's not different. It's, it's separate, but it's within the same, if that makes sense. Because you got to think, the concept of, you know, smarts, that came from a, a spiritual aspect that was dumbed down to somebody trying to be more intelligent, like, okay, I have the know-how, the spiritual gifts, the know and everything, and it was taught to someone who used it in another means of to manipulate and demonstrate that they were superior when they really aren't superior, they just have the knowledge. So once the other party finally reaches to that knowledge, he can tap into something greater and starts doing many wonders. And it starts blowing people mind. How did you do that? Oh my God. Because that person finally gained knowledge. Not only knowledge from the outside, but the inside. So he had to gain knowledge of self. Then he started gaining the other knowledge and seeing what was around self. He started doing wonders. Christ didn't start shining. I mean, even though Christ probably was shining. What they say, I'm not going to get into semantics. But from what they say, Christ didn't start really doing his works until he turned 33. Now, who's to say Christ wasn't doing a whole bunch of stuff before that? 
Now, then you gotta flip the opposite side too, because everybody on this earth don't follow Christ. Everybody don't know God. But that's a lie. Everybody doesn't follow Jesus. Because Christ is the light, right? So if the light is Christ, everybody can possibly have light. It depends on just who they are and, and where they come from and their whole makeup. Like it just all depends. But there are many beings on this planet that have light in them. They were chosen to have light in them. And you know, they singled out. Prime example, Peter Parker. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Just to throw it to the comics, right? Cartoons. Peter Parker was a lame, a peon. A, I don't even gonna call him a peon, but in the mindset of the reality he was in, he was considered to be the loser, the nothing, the just whatever. We'll run over this guy, right? Then, what you'll say, he had an awakening. He tapped in, he got bit by a spider. Boom, awakening. He woke, when he woke, after he reached that stage of for him to be awoken, after he got bit, he awoken, he became his true self, which was a superhero. And he took all the things that he had from before, all his past history, all that stuff and accumulation, all the good advice, bad advice, and all that stuff, and he, he broke it down and started accumulating into himself and realized that he had to be who he had to be to do the things that he wanted to do to make a better world, make a new world for not just him, but his family, for the beings that he chose were deemed worthy to, you know, have you. So what did Spider-Man become? He became a god on the earth. And you know, give or take, it's deeper than that. It goes deeper than that. And you, you look at all these symbols, like all that hand sign stuff. And people are doing things on purpose. Hand signs and signals and stuff. That's just to let you know who they are and what they is. So pay attention. And you can find out what they represent. And a lot of times people be doing mathematics. It's not even a, a cultic, but a lot of them do do occultic practices. Like, you do hand signs in baseball basketball you call out codes and plays you do certain things because you don't want the other team to know what you're doing so if this is a battle of course your ops gonna do certain stuff but you supposed to pick up on it so you can't be in fear of that either that's that's nonsense they're really just letting you know that it makes it even easier for you actually if you catch them doing that stuff like all right this must be a low level flunky you know what i'm saying that's cool I enjoy it. Appreciate you. Thank you. But yeah, man, it's, it's just a trip. It's really not a trip. It is a trip. It's a journey. It's a whole, whole ordeal. So if you follow these type of things, you will really grasp it. Like, here's another one. Morty. How Morty had to go through so many different trials and tribulations with, quote, unquote, a god rick being a god because you constantly see rick fighting other gods who know what is up rick be going in so morty is a child of a god he's a product of a god and he's a clone at that <laughs> he's half clone he's half clone demigod so morty guys go through all that and as you notice Morty in certain parts, Morty becomes a gifted one. He's like, if you see him go into his 20s, he becomes gifted. When he goes into his later years, he becomes just trash. He just, uh, and you know who, who that symbolizes if you pay attention. It looks like a particular group of people because these people have the knowledge, even though it's stolen knowledge. Now, who had, if you notice, Rick has the most trouble with the president. Why is that? Him and Rick be going at it. Like they be. Ha ha ha. Message. Be going at it. Constantly. So pay attention to that as well. And that's what. Yeah, he must be up. And you catch certain things, you can catch their vibes and stuff. Just catch the energy. Yeah. Both of them. But um, I'm telling you, 
it's not hard, bro. You can you can pick up on everything. Every type of vibration. Somebody just use the water. Then they're walking out right now. Yeah, so I like it's a trip, man. It's fun. It's it's really incredible. Truly enjoy yourself. And I'm not going to make this short. You know why? Because this is good stuff. So if you don't like it, you know what you can do with it. But if you do, pursue it. This is good stuff, man. There go a bird right above me. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and you know what? A lot of these folks who do know the nose, they try to play you stupid. They want you to not see this stuff. They don't want you to be on point. But yeah. And then, to, to bridge on to the original, Jer not Jerry, uh, Morty, he also, not only did he start realizing what Rick really was, he, there was multiple versions where he either could find or he, he exceeded his process. So he got on board with Rick and one. But then the other one, he was like, bro, I'm out of the box. I'm about to create something. I'm going to a whole different universe where this is not like how it is because you're controlling every narrative in this thing. No, I'm not going to be shackled down to this anymore. And he freed himself. Morty freed himself in one, one aspect. And on the opposite side of the coin, Morty joined Rick. And saving that universe or galaxy or however you want to put it. I'm going to say, well, no, it'll, it'll be a universe. And the other Morty was like, bro, I'm out that universe, bro. All right, here's the flip. Catch, catch it in the middle. Catch the point. Jet Lee. The one. At the end, there was still two left. One went to his paradise. He ended up getting his paradise, which was his woman back. A different version who was probably going to be better. But it was the same type of woman, but it was probably going to be a better version of her. The other, he went to his hellacious state to where he can rule as he saw fit. He would be a god amongst them. It was a pyramid at the end. Even though he was in a prison, he was in a pyramid, and he was wrecking havoc on everybody that was there. Nobody can, nobody can top him because he became awoke, and he already killed off all the other versions of himself to make himself a high god. Well, I gonna say a high god, but in that reality, he would have been the highest god in that whole facility. So. He killed off all his selves, his high self. He was at his highest self. He met his highest self and chose what he chose. He tried to kill his high self. The shadow tried to kill him. And, you know, that's what happened. And there you go. The other one, he awoken. He discovered that this is not reality. This is really not life. Where he was, what he was doing, being a cop and all that little crap, it meant nothing. He ended up transferring to another reality where he was that content. He didn't have to live that life no more. And he could do something totally different. And he had the knowledge of what was really real and what was going on. You know, the other one, you know, he, he knew what time it was too. So yeah. he went down to a, a lower, lower universe, but he was still kicking flag because he was a god. Hey, man, if that makes sense, man, make a comment, man. Say something. Let me know what's up.